no, we know what a dog can eat. Come on. No, <laughs> don't say neither of us don't know. Look, if a dog yes. could be healthy on a vegan diet, would you accept putting one on a vegan diet or would you still think it's wrong? I'm saying it's wrong because that's not his natural diet. Look, there's a big difference between what's natural and what's moral. Okay. There are plenty of things that I could point out that are natural that you would say aren't moral. No, we're talking about food. We're talking about basic stuff. I'm not talking about other things. You I'm talking about basic things. You don't things. eat a natural diet. Okay. Our Why ancestors does... say insects. Do you eat insects? No, no. Our ancestors right. so could have eaten raw meat. Okay? Do you eat raw they meat? could have eaten raw vegetables. Even you don't eat raw vegetables. I know that. Oh, okay? I'll have a raw carrot every now and then. Yeah, a carrot is not the only vegetable out there. I know. Okay? So don't tell me what our ancestors used to eat and not eat. I'm saying generally the diet, for, for us, we are omnivores by nature. Yeah. Okay, nature has given us enzymes which can digest meat. Why do you think that is? Sure. Why do you think so that it is? It aids our survival. Yes? So nature has created that in such a way yeah. that we. Are ha we are able to eat both diets. Sure. In order for humans to survive, like I said, our ancestors survived because of, not because of vegan diet, but because of meat diet, yeah, okay. yes? Or fish diet, or whatever diet it is, sure. yes? Like I said, even today, like in very, very cold places in the north, during the winter, mm. they, they cannot survive on anything that is plant-based. They have to survive on meat. But you don't. I'm not saying me, I'm saying there are places in the world out okay. there who, so, so what you're suggesting is everyone become vegan is impractical even today, and let alone our ancestors. Look, vegan, so in the case of animals, no, it's impractical. The in the case of humans, it's impractical. In the case of even our, our ancestors, it was... Can I give you the definition of veganism? I know what the definition of veganism is. What is it? Okay, and the, uh, look, for well, me, then. for me, what, you for me, it is, for me, look, you one thing I've realized here is that what you kept saying is that according to us, when you said that, according to us with regards to the animals, the principle is according to what you want and not what the animal wants. You said they can survive on a vegan diet. Yeah. But I kept telling you that is not their natural diet. I don't care what's natural. Let's just, let's just deal with what's If you don't care, thing. why are we having this discussion, you know? No, because there are plenty of things that are natural that we wouldn't see as moral today. So other humans is natural. It's happened for thousands, to be a and thousands is of years. A a is can be but what, what are natural. you doing about it? Nothing. You could, be you could be actively supporting, I, sorry, it's not supporting a, a pro-life uh, Look. The, the obligation is to avoid causing suffering. It's not to do a morally virtuous thing to do. There are plenty of things I'm not doing that I could be doing to help others, okay? But the fact is... I'm if asking, that is the main thing to avoid I'm, suffering, I'm then asking, I'm asking, don't I'm tell asking, an animal I'm, I'm can la survive on a vegan diet when its nature is not vegan. I don't care what's natural. It can be seen as natural. It's evolved... We, it's it's natural to whom? All to whom? Us, all of us. Seriously, you know, this guy is really let, lost in now. Let me respond. This is called let me fundamentalist let me vegan. Respond. Let me respond. You ready? You ready? It's Go happened on. thousands and thousands and thousands of years in our evolutionary past. It spreads our genes through the gene pool. It happens among all of the animal kingdom. All of them. Just Who considers as national? Who does that? It's, do you, right, which point do you disagree with? Do you disagree with the fact that it's happened thousands and thousands of years? No, no. Tell me who considers as national today. Scientists. Which scientist? Name scientist. me one. Richard, Name Richard me one. Dawkins. Richard, no, he says is national. When was the last time Richard Dawkins had a Had a Yeah, he someone. Committed. Sorry. Uh, you have to talk to the guy himself. So don't say it's natural, okay? That is rubbish. What you Only a fundamentalist will say it like that. Well, clearly you don't understand. You don't, Sorry? I'm not saying it's moral. I'm saying it's I natural. I can't hear you. Wait, wait. What is it? He's not saying it's moral. No, he said it's natural. Yes. Despite the fact that it's natural, people don't do it because wait, wait. it's not what do you, When you say natural, it means what? It means it's something which is a norm. Like me. Okay. Like me. So wait. Eating food, that's so, natural. So do you think that everything that... When you say it's natural, Look. means what? Do you think that everything that is a, is a norm is moral? Everything that's a norm. What do you define norm? You, it's the um, pop, the popular opinion that, that happens. That's that not norm. Who said that's norm? Look, the majority of people agree with it. Okay, I'll tell you what. When you consider norm, for example, in your tradition, it's okay to shake hand of the opposite gender. Perfectly normal. Yes. Yeah. You go to another culture. For them, even to touch the opposite gender is completely no sure. wrong. So, so what do you wait, wait? What you consider as norm society, might not be the norm in know, another culture. I know. I know. So that's why don't bring in subjective things. But you're the one. I'm this saying, look, animals by na by nature are not vegans. If you're going to Some impose, are. wait, wait. If you're going to impose a vegan diet on them, to me that is abuse. Now, whether you like it or not, that's you not natural. You can't have abuse without any exploitation or suffering. Well, that is exploitation, if you ask me. That is exploitation. You are, you are, if they are not vegan and you force them to become vegan, that is exploitation. Eat, you are forcing them to eat whatever food you want anyway. They didn't choose which brand of dog food you got from By Tesco. the way, I don't have pets, so don't say I. Okay, I'm saying those who have pets, <laughs> yes? Most of the people, they love the pets. That's the reason they keep pets. But if you're going to force them on a diet which is not natural to them, that is abuse. I don't care what's natural. Then that natural. is exploitation. I don't care what's natural. Do you eat milk? That's not natural. To, to what? Do you drink milk? That's not natural. I drink milk, yeah. Yeah, that's not natural. 
Uh, why does it, why did your mother produce milk if it wasn't natural? Human, me eating human milk is natural, sure, but I'm talking about cow's milk. I don't know about he, eating milk. I drink well, milk. Well, you can and eat drink milk. Okay. Cheese, but you can drink now, milk. now, look, look, look. Whether you like milk or not, that's different. It's relevant okay? to where I like it. But look, I've I've told you this from the very beginning. If you want to be a vegan, mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. Yes. If I want to be an omnivore, there's a victim to your choice. Wait, wait. Someone is suffering no, no, no. and dying you can, for you for wait, unnecessary reasons. You can call it victim. They are screaming you can in call gas chambers as we you speak. Gas chambers. Yes. What are, you, what are you talking about? So the the gold standard with pigs in the UK and Australia. They use gas chambers to kill goats here. Pigs. When? Pigs. I said. I don't eat pig anyway. Okay. Well, <laughs> well the, the way we kill other animals are better. <laughs> okay. Look. Look. In the, in the end, I am. I am right, against animal suffering. You clearly don't know what's happening in the industry. Listen, so. No. No. I do know. No. Because if you did, you'd be vegan. The way. The way. Wait. Wait. The way they treat the animals in the animal industry, in the, sorry, in the food industry here, is atrocious. I totally agree with that, okay? What they're doing to the animals doesn't mean that everyone becomes vegan, okay? If you use that line of argument, then yes, I, I can say you have some justification. But if you're just saying as a matter of principle, then you need to stick to the principle of the animals too, who are not vegans, but you're saying we, they, oh no, I'm going to feed them a vegan diet because that is the way it's my principle, so I'm going to impose it on these animals as well. No, that's I, wrong. I, I, I care. To about, me, that is abuse. I care about the consciousness, of sentient beings. I care about suffering. Okay. So do they? Yeah. Do you think? And me, me. Do you think a dog eating meat mm -hmm. is thinking about what is nutritious for me, or no, it is thinking no, they're, about they're eating, the suffering it's, it's according? Instinct. Exactly. So why are you forcing it when, by nature, it's only going by its instinct? Why are you forcing it? I'm mean, saying, why are you forcing it into a vegan you, diet? Because I don't want to cause it. Would you agree to because a vegan diet for the pets? Omnivores, and omnivores means that you can eat plants and you can eat meat. You don't have to eat both. Yeah, right? but you cannot you say can don't eat. Both. But you a cannot dog, tell them don't dog. eat meat at all. Dogs are scavengers. They are opportunist eaters. They eat what they come across. No, no, I'm talking about pets. I'm not talking about the you're dogs. Talking about which, the dog. No, no, exactly I'm talking about pets. My, my term, the term I used was well, pets. No, because you can't treat for every animal in the same box. I'm talking about dogs and animals. Sorry, dogs and cats as pets. It's a very different diet to a dog because a dog is an omnivore and a cat is a carnivore. Okay. So what would you feed your cat if you had a cat? I don't have a cat, but if I had a cat, I might accept that I have to eat, uh, feed it some meat or some fish. Thank you. Because that is that is what they have to eat to survive. Absolutely. Yes, but we are I omnivores. totally agree with you. Dogs are omnivores. We That's have fine. a choice and yes. we have a moral obligation yeah. to make that choice where it reduces the suffering harm to animals. If you give a if you give a dog a broccoli and a steak, what do you think it'll choose? If it's, it's an omnivore, right? What do you think it'll choose? Wait, wait, wait. What do you think it'll choose? It doesn't matter. It does matter. No, because because you see, no, they have a choice to that murder. diet. Why did so she said, I will feed a animal. cat meat. You know? Where will you get your meat from? I this is irrelevant. She hasn't even got a cat. I don't have a cat. This is a completely <laughs> Now they're getting defensive. Why? We're talking about you. Why are you guys are getting defensive about, all of a sudden? We're talking about you. How do you? Are you a pig? No, no, it's not irrelevant. This is this is something very real in our real world. There are people who have cats and dogs as pets. You're saying if you have a cat as a pet, where do you think you'll get your meat from? Will you go hunting okay. or will you go to the same supermarket that I go to? You're saying that I rest my case. No, wait, wait, look, I wouldn't get Take a care, guys. I wouldn't get a You're answer. getting defensive now, that's how, all. Wait, no, listen You're to me, saying. listen to me. I listen to you already. How, how I need you, to go get a coffee. How do you...